Because there is one other thing I want to talk about, and it's actually important as a VTuber or as a person in VR chat and VR in general. And if if you know anything about VR chat, you probably already know this story. You kind of already know this, but I want to break it down. You you probably already know. It's VR chat in EAC, aka easy anti cheat. So it took me a while to understand. Ugh, damn it, you're. Right. So at first, I couldn't really understand this story, and I was confused as to what all this meant. But after like looking into it more and more, I kind of understand now what it means and all that. And it's really bad. So VR chat for people that don't know, VR chat is a like virtual social platform where people can jump in and like socialize and talk to people and it's a great platform it's i've i've participated in it it's really great it's cool it's fun you can really talk to people i played among us in vr chat and it was so it was amazing it was fun great um i played some games in there too it was a blast and i was even thinking about doing some vr like I watched this chat. I watched the uh, virtual reality channel or virtual reality show, and she's like, she does like her VR stuff in like the Oculus Quest, and she uses VR chat for it. And I was thinking about actually doing that, so it could be way more interact. So this could be way more interactive. Like I want to be able to use my hands and my in my arms and my head. I know, but that is a long way off. But, but in the only way to do that really is using VR chat. Well, VR chat has been thrown into flames because of one announcement. How could one announcement throw VR chat into a complete fire and flames? It's very easy. All you have to do is. Uh, is update the game with a easy anti cheat. Now, what does this do? Uh, it apparently bans all mods in the game. Every modification possible. You know how you like, you know, mod games or stuff, maybe like, I don't know, like Team Fortress 2 or something? Or like Skyrim or GTA? Well, actually, you know, they ban all mods there too. But, you know, any game. You can possibly think of every mod for this game is banned. Every single one now because of easy, because of EAC. Now I don't know all the specifics, but I wanna I wanna like go through the most important ones. I wanna show like the 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 magnitude of of all the mods that are now banned because of it. Look at this. This is the GitHub. Look at this. Look at that. All these mods gone. You cannot mod the game anymore. I think this is a good. So all the mods banned forever. This VR chat mod banned. These people that worked on the game gone, gone up in smoke. All because of one update. It's wild. It is absolutely wild to me. I never knew. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of games with EAC recently, but I never knew how, how fucking crazy it could be. So let's kind of go through this. I've kind of been rambling, but let's go through this. The developer VR chat has banned all mods for its VR based social platform, and the community is incredibly unhappy. That's, a, that's an understatement. I went on the Discord of this place, and it is like, it was like, I don't know if it's still like that, but it was like fucking flaming. It was rough. As reported, VR chat would soon introduce Easy Anti Cheat, a common PC counter hacking and cheating service used in Elden Ring, Fortnite, and more. 
It's being introduced because, according to the devs, malicious modified clients allow users to attack and harass others, causing a huge amount of moderation issues. This is true. This is actually true. VR chat, despite, you know, despite, you know, all the mods that actually help the game, there are a lot of mods that actually hurt the game and the people playing it. And it sucks. It sucks that a lot of people are malicious are malicious douches that try to ruin the game for all of us. They try to like ruin people's fun. And now the the devs are going heavy handed trying to like kill all mods because of it. Let's continue. There were other reasons listed too, with developer VR chat saying that even seemingly non-malicious modifications complicate the support and development of VR chat and make it impossible for VR chat creators to work within the expected documented bounds of VR chat. Some mods add major features to VR chat and are always a huge part of its appeal for the community. For some, these mods features are more vital, such as adding closed captions and deaf and hard of hearing, which will be removed as a result. Here we go. This is the big problem right here. This is it. Okay. There are a lot of mods that make the game better. A lot of them aren't really necessary. You know, you know, you might get like a mod that like makes the mirroring better. Okay, that's not really bad. You know, if you can't make the mirror system better, you know, so you could see your avatar like a little, so the pixels of the mirror are like a little tiny better, you know, oh well, you know. But the problem is, there were mods that made the game more accessible for people with disabilities. And the dev and the devs didn't do anything to ex to 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 address this for like the past I don't know how many years. And now rather than like putting measures in place to combat this, they just decide to take the hammer and smash it into pieces. They just decide to just take the entire hammer and smash the entire mod community into a billion pieces without even like having any support for the community whatsoever. So if you're, if you have like any disability, because the VR chat community is very diverse, very, there are people of all walks of life playing this game. And it's not just like, it is people with disability. It's everybody. There are so many different types of people to play this game. And these mods have made it to where people like the people with these kinds of disabilities can play this game and have fun. But now they can't do that anymore because they took a hammer and broke everything down. And, and they're not. And now the only way that this will be addressed is if the developers decide whether to implement these systems or not, which you don't know if they will. That's the major problem here. These game, these players that were able to enjoy the game because of mods are now at the mercy of the dev team. That they're at the mercy of them. People are bad. Or, you know, a lot of people are pissed off. Cross crow, you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. VR chat issued a response to in it updating its initial blog to say it has heard and understood the complaints, but it will not cancel the implementation of EAC. However, we hear you and say and see you saying that many of our modified client features that are being lost due to the extremely important to you, or in some cases allow to use VR chat at all, which in regards to modifications that add accessibility features that VR chat currently lacks. Addressing these concerns and feedbacks is our highest priority. We are changing our internal development roadmap and priorities to focus on the features and additions that you want. Currently ongoing projects are being paused, rescheduled, or reprioritized, and resources are being allocated to the account for this change. The first changes are being made to accessibility issues such as the removal of closed captions with VRChat saying it is fact-checking similar issues, features through production, if promised that more information will follow soon, and that these initial updates will be first of many. Also, thank you fans for their patience. Whether fans will show that patience remains to be seen. So yeah. Basically, yes. If you have if you are blind or if you can't hear, you are at the mercy of developers. I mean, that's that's rough. That is rough. 
and I think it's bad. I think they should have warned the community ahead of time, or I don't know, maybe you should have implemented this, you know, beforehand. Not just rip it away like a band-aid. Just rip it off a wound like a band-aid, you know? That's just great. I don't understand why they just didn't like regulate it to like Steam Workshop or something. Maybe I'm just not maybe I'm just not smart enough, but can't you just have mods on Steam Workshop and then like Steam can regulate the mods? You know? I guess that's too hard, I guess, for VR chat. You know? <sighs> I want I don't know. Like I think but now, yeah, like it's my opinion is that VR chat is gonna have to step up their game. They can no longer rely on the community, the great community of VR chat, also the uh, not so great community, but the really great community of VR chat to improve their game for them. If they want people to accept this, to accept this. I mean, I, I've seen that people say that in the long run, this is probably going to be better for the game due to all the garbage that is in the game. But in order for people to be comfortable in supporting this game, they are going to have to step up. Because there are people coming for VR chat, And the people coming for VR chat are not the best people that I want dominating the metaverse. These companies that I think that I'm thinking of are Meta and ByteDance and Microsoft. Epic Games is kind of already in the fold. These are companies that have a lot of money. They have a lot of money. And if VR Chat doesn't step up their game and make and implement these features and make their game the best. VR metaverse social platform they could possibly make it they're going to be left in the dust by companies that have billions of dollars billions and billions of dollars that have zero problem especially meta that will invest millions of dollars into VR chat and I really want VR chat to succeed I mean I've seen like people invest in like other VR games but I truly believe that VR chat is the best we got Unless it gets bought out by someone like Microsoft, and then that kind of changes everything. But right now, I know people are mad at VR Chat, and rightfully so. But VR Chat, I believe, is the best we've got, especially compared to something like Meta, which kind of Meta and Byte Dance, and yes, I believe Byte Dance is making a metaverse, and Microsoft. I think the internet's going to look a lot different in like 10 to 20 years. And these companies really want to be in the metaverse. They want to be the next big thing. And we have to be careful. We really do. As consumers and as people in general, we have to be careful. What's great about the internet is that there's a lot of, there's a lot of browsers we can use. There's a lot of things we can do. Now granted, Chrome is kind of like, you know, the dominant market. But there's a lot on the internet. If one company... If the metaverse is truly the next wave of the internet and one company slash one platform dominates our entire social lives, the amount of power that that one company has is astronomical. We need multiple platforms and multiple browsers, multiple companies, multiple people in the game in order to make it fair. We can't have one platform. We can't just have Meta. We can't just have ByteDance, Microsoft, Epic. Do it. And I think VR chat is honestly the best platform we have. If you don't like big mega corporations like Meta, ByteDance, Microsoft, Epic, if you don't like those big mega corporations, then VR chat's probably the best we got, no matter what their decisions are. And that's my take. That's my take on this whole thing. It sucks, it's stupid, but probably in the long run this would be better for VR chat. I still think VR chat is a great experience, but it's it start it's unfortunately started to become a big time thing. And I think we're starting to realize that VR chat is going from like the wild west that we all grew up loving to now 
a corporation that has a lot of money and power and interest in these kinds of things. So, yeah, that's my take on this whole EAC VR chat debacle. 